Hi there, I'm Guilherme Hatchigan and I'll be presenting Design by Contract.jl, enforcing interfaces between functions. So what are contracts in programming? Contracts are just built upon agreements um, that in turn are just guarantees that some conditions will be checked at some point in time. For example, a sale. Um, you need some money to buy a product and you need by the end of the sale that you own the product. In terms of code, this would just be two assertions. The first one guaranteeing that you have the money and that you're not the owner already. And the second one guaranteeing that you are the owner. So what is design by contract? Design by contract is just a, a program, programmable way of doing so, of adding assertions to your code, uh, to functions, to loops, and to structures. It was first introduced in IFO and then it moved on to uh, branching out to other languages as well, as C++ and Java. So what are the benefits of using design by contract? First one is that it makes your code much more expressible. Um, by adding strict boundaries to functions, loops, and structures, um, design by contract makes sure that each artifact is well represented and has a, and has a well-defined responsibility. It takes the weight off unit testing because well, you don't need to test unexpected behavior with unit testing. You just need to add it to a, to a contract. So that's it. Do design by contract.jl is based upon Julia macros. It has function contracts, loop invariants, and contract disabling. Contract disabling is just to, well, if you have a code with design by contract and you do want, don't want to use it, if you don't want the checks to be used, um, you just disable the contract. Here's an example of a function contract. You use the contract macro and the ensure and require clauses to define conditions, and if one of them breaks, the contract, contract breach exception is raised. A loop invariant has the same idea, and at the end of each iteration, you'd have a check for the conditions, and if one of them breaks, well, there's a new contract breach exception. A small efficiency analysis to the code is just comparing Julia and Eiffel code, but comparing them to um, a design by contract code with code not using design by contract. So, concluding, we can see that the overhead added by the DBC package, both in Eiffel and Julia, is almost non existent. Of course, the complexity of your code will be defined by the complexity of the conditions and your logic. Thank you very much.